think. Basically, I'm going to go through this fa uh, pretty fast, and then we're going to do some um, we're going to do some role plays. Uh, we need to learn how to talk to strangers with guts. We've lost this skill, whether it's the culture shift, the technology, whatever it is. Can you imagine for a moment if you can engage anyone anywhere in an interesting conversation? You have no reluctance or impending doom of rejection or embarrassment. Your business income would soar. How would your world be different if you could just start a conversation with anywhere, anywhere, anytime, any place? Do you think we have reluctance to do that in today's society? What do you guys think? I think we do. Definitely. I, you know? Uh, also, Claude, we don't realize that someone may be a gatekeeper or may open the door to some other huge opportunity. Absolutely. When we do we engage the gatekeeper or the telemarketer or a problem? I always tell this one story, Brandon. You thank you. You stimulated a memory here. Um, I treat when I when I need technical assistance, I am wonderful to these people on the phone because you don't know how much they can help you sometimes. Okay. You all guys all know the story. For if for those of you who've heard it before, I forgive me. But I once, Mr. Genius here, Mr. Mentor, once washed his pants with his iPhone in the back pocket of his jeans. Okay. Totally ruined this thousand dollar remote control device to the universe. I called up uh, Apple Care. I had a great technician on the phone, someone, and I, and I said, listen, I'm not going to tell you, I, I'm the guy who broke it. I washed my jeans and didn't check my pockets, and I left my phone in there. This phone is dead. I put it in the bag of rice. I did everything. The guy just laughed, you know, because I was being so brutally honest and putting my, and, and, and uh, just telling him the truth. He sent me a new, he sent me a brand new phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did he do that? Because I made him laugh or he liked the freshness, the honesty. I think sometimes, you know, just, just can we communicate with these people, interact with them right away? Uh, it, it's, it's amazing. Brandon, what else did you have to say? I cut you off there, buddy. No, I was, it made me think of one, I worked at a, at a financial planning firm called AG Edwards. And the guy that was the most successful broker there, the way he got all of his clients was he ended up breaking his leg. He was in the, e, the ER waiting room and he struck up a conversation, really funny guy. He's just an easy guy to talk to with the head of one of the largest chemical companies in Louisville, Kentucky, and basically ended up being the, the head guy that did all the retirement plans for everyone there, just because he talked to some guy next to him. It's amazing. How many people here interact with uh, uh, somebody in the supermarket line or, you know, the, uh, the, the person doing the, re the cash register or something like that? How many, how many of us actually force ourselves to interact, make another person smile, even if it's for a few seconds? How many of us are very good at engaging in those conversations? Oh, you know, I, what do I always say about five people a day? Um, can we engage with those people? Can we force ourselves to learn to be more extroverted, more outgoing, especially in business? How good is it when we can speak comfortably, confidently to people all day long in business? It's, fa it's fantastic. Let's go back to my mind map here. How would your world be different? Could we learn this superpower skill? S set it with gut. Should we learn this skill? Can we focus on learning Improvisation, improvisational conversation. That was hard to say. How do we even, how do we normally react to the commonplace for, uh, questions that people say? How are you? Can I help you? Is your home still available? How's your day going? How do we normally how do we normally respond to those kind of questions? Pretty. What? How do you normally respond? Bailey, how are you today? I'm blessed. How are you, Claude? Okay, good. Now, if Bailey really, if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to interact with Bailey and get into a conversation, how would I, instead of saying, how are you today? What can I do? What can I do? How do, how do I put some sugar on that? How could I, how could I get him engaged? Bailey, you got a nice t-shirt on. You could do Thanks, that. You could do that. Bailey, you look too damn happy. What, what, what happened to you on the weekend, man? You look too, you had too good a weekend. What, 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 
How are you? You you look too happy. What's going on in your world, man? Got some good sleep. Got some stuff done with, over the weekend that I needed to do. You know, oh, so um, looking love, forward to this week. Don't you love that? What do you do for what do you do for a living? I you anybody as happy as you on a Monday must be doing something wonderful. Yeah, I, I get to help business owners create predictable growth. That's it. What a predictable growth. Could you tell me more about that? That's interesting. Yeah, for sure. Um, we, you know, basically help people get in touch with their ideal prospects there on a go. continual scalable basis. There we go. And what am I doing That's with Bailey? Sweet. What am I doing with Bailey right now? Creating Asking me open ended questions. Yeah. Marnie. Oh, uh, well, creating conversation, uh, but I, I wanted to say that I actually, it, that what we were talking about happened to me the other day, long story short with my new company, we were in a breakout room and uh, then this guy just like pops in randomly. Nobody else's microphones are working except for mine. And um, uh, I just kind of blurted out and asked, you know, what, so what do you, what are you doing? Uh, I come to find out he's pretty big in the company and Dude, he gave me some unbelievable resources. Like, I don't even know where to begin. Like, it opened up a whole new world. And I'm just like, that was the best thing I did. I could have walked away and gotten tea, and I almost did. Um, and I just made myself just ask him. So what do you, you know, how are you making this work? Yeah. How, was, yeah, how, how profitable can it be to meet new that's people? That's going to be hugely profitable. <laughs> You know, how, like, to meet people like this, 